Question two was a frequently missed problem on the latest written assignment, and so I wanted to go through uh, an explanation of how I would approach the problem. So in part A, W is described as a collection of polynomials in P2. So that's the polynomials of degree less than or equal to 2, uh, such that the derivative of P at 2 is 0. So there's a few theorems in your 4.1 and your 4.2 section notes that uh, provide ways to prove that a subset of a vector space is a subspace. Um, the approach that I'm going to take in this problem is uh, there's a theorem that says if we know we're dealing with the subset of a vector space, which in this case we are, P2 is one of our classic vector spaces. And so now we're dealing with a subset of all those polynomials in P2, specifically the ones that have a derivative of 0 when we plug in 2. So if we have a subset of a vector space, if we can just show that that subset meets these three criteria, then that's enough to prove that it's a subspace of the um, vector space. OK, so I'm going to go through these uh, three criteria. So first is the zero vector contained in W. So if we're talking about P2, uh, then the zero vector in this case would be the zero function. Uh, actually, let me make this. Uh, one here. So the, the zero vector would be uh, just the zero polynomial, p of x equals zero. And um, so if we check the, the main criteria here is, is the derivative at two equal to zero? Well, yes, because um, the derivative of this, any constant function, actually, the derivative is always zero, uh, no matter what the input is there for x. So sure, p2 uh, prime would be zero. It meets that uh, condition, and so the zero vector is in W. Uh, is it closed under addition? So here, uh, we need to take two generic polynomials from W, and you cannot pick a specific polynomial. Um, but so let's just assume uh, that P and Q are polynomials from this subset W. If that's the case, then we know that p prime at 2 is 0, and also that q prime at 2 is 0. Since these polynomials came out of the subset w, then we know they already meet this criteria right here. So now the question, if it's closed under addition, we need to determine whether the sum of those two just generic polynomials from w does the sum also belong to W then? So to check that, we would take the derivative at 2. OK, but so one of our properties of derivatives says I can take the derivative of P plus Q as P prime at 2 plus Q prime at 2. I know that the derivative of P at 2 is 0. I know the derivative at Q at 2 is 0. And 0 plus 0 equals 0. So yes. The derivative of p plus q evaluated at 2 is 0. So yes, it's closed under addition. And by the way, yes, we showed that the 0 vector is included in w. OK, so uh, well, that, <coughs> sorry, last question. Is it closed under scalar multiplication? I'm trying to get myself a little room to show this. OK, so let's go with the same. Uh, P that's some element of W. Oops, let me change to blue. Let P be an element of W. So we know that P prime at 2 is 0. Uh, let's let C be any number. We have to be general if we're showing that it's closed under scalar multiplication. We have to show that any polynomial P from W and if, if c is any number, then is c times p, this new polynomial, would this belong to w? And so to check that, we need to check the derivative at 2. Well, another property of derivatives says if I want the derivative of a constant times some function p, 
I can just move the constant outside and then take the derivative of this function p at 2. But the derivative at p of p at 2 is 0 times any number c, but any number times 0, that's going to be 0. So yes, the derivative of this new function, c times p, at 2 is 0. So yes, w is closed under scalar multiplication. And so if I scroll up, uh, yes, this thing is a subspace. Okay, but looking at part B here, uh, now what if we just change this slightly? Now W is the collection of polynomials in P2 such that the derivative at P2 is 1. That's actually going to fail all three of those criteria. Um, the zero vector is not included in this set. It is not closed under addition. It's not closed under scalar multiplication. Um, and, and showing that, uh, so first, does it contain the zero vector? Well, like I, I told you, um, the zero vector in P2 is just the zero function. If you take the derivative of that anywhere, the derivative is zero. You're never going to get a value of one for the derivative. And so, no, it does not include the zero vector. But just by the way, if we checked closure under um, addition, we would say, okay, let P and Q be vectors in W. That means that we're going to assume that P prime at 2 is 1, Oops. and so is Q prime at 2. But then... P plus Q prime at 2 would be P prime at 2 plus Q prime at 2. And now that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. Not 1. So no, it's not closed under addition. And then you'll get a similar thing if you check closure uh, under scalar multiplication. But again, let me reiterate, you don't have to check all three. If one of these three conditions fails, then the subset is not a subspace of the vector space. The only way it is a subspace is if it meets all three criteria. So as soon as you find one criteria that fails, there's really no point in looking further. I wanted to talk through uh, this explanation here just to give you a little further um, understanding of the concept of closed under addition and how that would work for a collection of polynomials. But it wouldn't be necessary. You could just stop here. If it doesn't contain the zero vector, then there's no way it's a subspace.